Welcome to Cambodia. city of Siem Reap. And we're so excited to explore this amazing place. And we're staying in this awesome hotel. Yeah, this place is so big. We have a massive room. There is a huge pool. And also, they've got free breakfast. Ooh, I like free breakfast. Let's head to breakfast. This breakfast buffet is like way better than any of the free breakfast buffets we've been to in any of our hotels before. Normally it's like you get like a little bit of scrambled eggs, maybe a sausage or two and that's about it. Here they have like an omelet station. They've got a coffee station where you can get asked for lattes and cappuccinos and all that kind of stuff. They had some hot food sections. They had a huge selection of baked goods and they had Sandy's favorite thing, which is the little fresh spring rolls in the shot glasses. They also have water. They have uh, fresh orange juice, they have fresh apple juice. This place is pretty amazing. So I think we're gonna definitely enjoy this while we're here. That breakfast was so, so good. What an amazing spread. Now we're back in our room. We're gonna just hang out here for a little bit before heading into the town and exploring a little bit there. The main reason why we're here in Cambodia though is to head to Angkor Wat, the very famous temple complex here in Siem Reap. And we're gonna actually do that tomorrow. So today we're just gonna have a nice relaxing day, enjoy this beautiful hotel and head into the town and just explore a little bit, maybe get some good food. Also, our room faces the pool and we have this awesome balcony. Check this out. We will definitely be taking advantage of the awesome pool later on today. We are heading out and we're heading to the main city area because our hotel's a little bit far away from there. Uh, but the Tuk Tuk ride to the city is like $2, I believe. So it's not bad at all. And we need to hit up a currency exchange because we don't have that much money here. So we need to go and exchange some money. Also an interesting thing about money here in Cambodia, they use the real, but they also use the US dollar, but they're really strict with the quality of the notes of US dollars and not so strict with the real. So I would recommend using real while you're here because even if your bill has like a small little tear in it, they won't accept it. And we found that out yesterday the hard way. We were able to exchange some money and now we're gonna just go and explore the town a little bit. I think there's actually a couple of temples in the town so we might go and see those ones first before we head to Angkor Wat which we're gonna do tomorrow. We don't really have much of a plan for today since it's our first day here. We just want to explore and get to know the city a little bit better. We got in yesterday around in the afternoon time but we pretty much just hung out at our awesome hotel and enjoyed our pool. So today is really our first day of exploring the city and trying some awesome food. So we're here now on the famous Pub Street. Although it's kind of dead right now because it's more of an evening place. I think we're gonna come and check this place out. Probably not tonight because tomorrow we want to wake up early to go to Angkor Wat. So I think we'll come and check it out on another day that we're here. But it's apparently crazy and there's like so many bars and they have really cheap beer. We're here at this temple called Wat Pri Prang Wat, 
and it's really close to the Oceana City Center. We walked like six minutes to get here. And what I really love about this temple is the walls are covered with so many beautiful artworks. I think a lot of people that come to Siem Reap only go and see the Angkor Wat temples, which are like beautiful historic temples, but they don't come to the actual temples in the town. And I think they're missing out because this temple is actually really beautiful. So we found a place to eat and this place looks really good. The reviews were very good and everything is very cheap. They have things that are like $1 only. I'm so excited to eat. It's so hot today, so I'm really excited for my beverage. I'm very excited for my beverage as well because I got a beer and it was only 50 cents. That meal was super satisfying and it cost us like $6.75 US. Yeah, super affordable. Now, I think we're just gonna walk around a little bit and then probably slowly make our way back to our hotel because it is so hot and humid today and it feels like the perfect opportunity to take advantage of our hotel's pool. Back in the tub tub. She's doing her swimming practice. <laughs> How's that going for you? I'm, I'm done with my swimming lesson. That was a pretty nice swim. Now we need to shower and get changed and stuff. And we're gonna head towards the Anchor Watt ticket office to buy our tickets for Anchor Watt tomorrow. So we could have bought our tickets tomorrow on the day we actually come on, but the reason we're buying them tonight is if you buy your tickets after 4.45 p.m., you can actually go today, like an extra day basically, to watch the sunset, which is pretty cool. So we have made it to the best temple that has the best view of the sunset. Now we just gotta climb up and check out the sunset. Let's go. This is actually a fair bit of hike you gotta do to get to the like viewpoint. I'm excited for tomorrow. I feel like there's gonna be so much to see tomorrow. I can see the sun setting already. Yeah. Hopefully we're not missing too much. Wow, the view from here is absolutely stunning. Totally worth it. Today's the day. We're going to Angkor Wat. Yay! Can't wait to see the sun rays. Let's go! Very dark, and we're heading to Anchor One to watch the sunrise. But we gotta use the phone as a, as a flashlight because otherwise, can't see anything. Look how dark it is without it. <laughs> Where'd we go? After standing in the pitch dark for a while, the sun is starting to come up, but it's very cloudy. So we've been waiting for the sunrise for like an hour and a half. And unfortunately, it's very cloudy, so it's not a very exciting sunrise. 
Anchor Wat still looks beautiful though. So a couple interesting facts we learned about Angkor Wat is that it was built way back in the 12th century by the Khmer Empire. And uh, it's supposed to be like a replica of the cosmic world where the Hindu gods live. And the five towers represent the five mountain peaks of Mount Meru. And also it looks really cool. It's kind of crazy how you can just like wander around here and just yeah. pretty much go wherever you want. I thought it was going to be much more limited on what we could see, but yeah, we can just pretty much walk around the entire temple. So another thing that we learned is that none of the buildings in Siem Reap are allowed to be taller than Angkor Wat. So mm. Angkor Wat is actually like the highest building in all of Siem Reap, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Because it's like So we're at the very highest old. point right now. Yeah, pretty close to the highest point here in Siem Reap. What's really cool is that even though there's a lot of people obviously that come to Angkor Wat all the time, it's so big that you can find places like this where you're the only one around. Crazy. So that's where we came from this morning, except we could not see anything because it was completely pitch black. Much nicer now. We're all done with the first temple, off to the next one. Back in the tuk-tuk, heading to our next destination. We are taking a quick little break before mm -hmm. going to our next temple because we have breakfast. Our hotel provided us a nice little packed breakfast. And it's pretty good. There's like eggs, bread, croissant, fruits. Yeah, something easy to like take with us and not get spoiled during the day. Mm -hmm. So we're here now at our second temple and this is the Bayan Temple. And it's located in the walled city of Angkor Thom, which is part of the Angkor Wat area, but not Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat's just one of the temples. learned that at this temple there are 54 towers and each tower has four faces so there's how many faces yeah, 216 faces 216 faces <laughs> we met a nice guy here he's a student and he's helping us give us a tour as well so we learned that there used to be Buddhas here but they removed them when um, one of the kings was here and he was a Hindu so they switched it to a Hindu temple and then it was switched back to a Buddhist temple but kind of a mix of the two now. So another thing that we learned is that there's three levels and the bottom level represents earth, the center level kind of represents hell or the demon world and then the top level is heaven but unfortunately the top level is under construction yes. so we're stuck uh, we're stuck in hell we can <laughs> can't go higher than hell unfortunately. The student that we met kind of student slash tour guide he was really nice and he like gave us tons of information and he also took some amazing photos of us. Yeah, I think we're his... most impressed by his photography. Yeah. Check this one out right here. That's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna steal that one. <laughs> now I think we're just gonna slowly make our way back to the exit mm -hmm. and head back to our tuk-tuk to head to the next location. Wow, 
this temple is so beautiful it like is like really high up and i'm not sure what there is at the top but it looks like some sort of archway uh it looks awesome so cool starting to get insanely hot now next temple is the elephant temple i believe and there's elephants not real elephants the thing that's really crazy about this whole area is that you just basically wander around and find like the next temple and i don't know if we took like a weird path but we basically just walked through the forest yeah. for like five minutes but I think I see the temple of Ed. We basically just walked down this windy road for like five minutes. But there's people here. That's exciting. This temple looks so cool. There's a tree growing out of it. Wow, these temples are so cool. And I really like that there's not a lot of tours here yet. So you get to kind of have the temple to yourself and get to explore at your own pace. It's really nice. These are insane. Look at these stairs. I have tiny feet and half of my foot can y'all even fit on here. There's a lot of steps to climb up and there's still more to do. We're gonna look around the outside. This looks like some sort of like, it almost reminds me of like an Aztec pyramid or something. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. We only got a one day pass for Angkor Wat. So we're only able to see like a fraction of what like you could see. I think they have like a three day and a seven day. So if you're into like temples and stuff, and especially like old historical, archeological style things, if you like Tomb Raider, I feel like you should get like at least a three day pass. This is really cool. We have now made it to the Tepram temple. And this mm -hmm. temple is very famous for one reason. Because the movie Tomb Raider was shot here partially. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I don't think that's the only reason why it's famous. But that's one of the reasons why it's famous. So we shall go check out the temple and pretend like we're in Tomb Raider. Yes. You can call me Laura Croft. Laura Croft? Are you the Tomb Raider? I am the Tomb Raider. Oh my gosh. It's crazy seeing all the parts that have been like broken or knocked over or collapsed. Just thinking about how much bigger it was before. It also just blows my mind like how people built these things like hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Using like heavy stones and everything. People are way smarter before I guess. I guess so. <laughs> I have trouble building like a Lego set sometimes. We are entering into the temple. I am Laura Croft. Why are you Because she's Tomb Raider and we're going to the Tomb Raider temple. This place is so big. It has so many like different routes and winding rooms and stuff. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like. I can play hide and seek. Yeah, it would be like the greatest place to play hide and seek yeah. ever. But I don't think there's any way you can see it all in one go because it's just too like windy. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't even know where I am anymore. This is my favorite temple. Yeah, it was really cool because it's sort of like you're wandering around like temple ruins yeah. versus like, I don't know, less ruined temples. <laughs> it's really cool though. And there's so many it's winding huge paths. too. We got lost for so long. Yeah. 
but we, it was fun. We couldn't find the exit. <laughs> and I think we found the exit now, though. We're at our last temple, which is called Funday Today Temple. One thing that I really love about all these temples, too, is that they're all so different. Like the Tomb Raider one was like a maze almost. Uh, one of the ones we had to like climb up a bunch of stairs. This one is much more open feeling. And it feels almost more like a traditional, like when I think of a temple as a temple, like there's a nice big long walkway. And then as you walk in, there's the Buddha in front. That's a wrap for our tour here at Angkor Wat. Even though it has been such a long day, we had so much fun seeing all the different temples. Mm -hmm. Now I think we're slowly going to make our way back to our hotel mm -hmm. and probably just crash for the night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, or I should say good afternoon because it's like past 12. We're having a very late start to the day today because uh, we're really tired from uh, Angkor Wat yesterday. Now, today we are starting our day by doing the most exciting thing in the world! Laundry. Laundry. Not that I'm exciting. Excited. Yay! Clean clothes! Clean clothes are exciting, so... Time to get some laundry done. One thing that I really like here in Southeast Asia is that they have all these laundry service places. So you don't even have to go and do coin laundry and it's really cheap. So we got all of our laundry done, which was like almost three kilos of laundry. And it cost us $3.75 US. So not bad at all. I think this place is actually like one of the more pricey places here in Cambodia, but we've heard really good things about it. So we're trusting them with our laundry. Now we need to go find some food because I'm getting hungry. We're loving all the fresh shakes here in Cambodia. So good and so cheap. How much was that? I think this was like a buck seventy-five. As you can see, it is much darker now. We did a lot of work while we were back at our hotel and of course used the pool a little bit because gotta make use of that pool. Now we're just heading out to grab some dinner before hitting up the infamous Pub Street here in Siem Reap. So I think we mentioned this before, but the menus here in Cambodia are so big. Look at this. How many pages is it? They just keep going and going. And going, and going. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, they also have this happy hour drink menu and the promotional food menu. And then also this special lunch and dinner menu. Oh, and then also their breakfast menu. Every place in Cambodia has like the biggest menus ever. I kid you not, there was this one place that we went to. I wish we filmed it. Their menu was this thick. Like it was literally like the encyclopedia. But everything's been really good, so I can't really complain. Margarita. And I got something called a blue sky. Ooh. I don't I have no idea what's in here to be honest. I'm assuming some sort of blue stuff? <laughs> blue's clues? Oh my god, they killed blue clues. Huh? Blue's clues. The dog from blue clues. Oh. I was being sarcastic. Cheers. I don't know. Cheers. That's really good. Oh, it's very strong. Mm. It's like juice of mine.
that meal was so satisfying and it was quite cheap. We ended up getting like four drinks all together plus a bottle of water and two mains, one happy and it came out to 24 Canadian or like 18, 19 US. 18, 25 US. Very cheap, amazing food. I'd highly recommend that place. It was called Temple Restaurant, I believe. I think, yeah, I think it's chain. There's like Temple Pub, Temple Lounge, Temple Restaurant. This one's off of Pub Street and it's much cheaper. I think if you go to the Temple Lounge on Pub Street, it's a little bit more expensive. But speaking of Pub Street, that's actually where we're heading right now because it should start being uh, a little bit lively now. It's almost 10 o'clock. fun on Pub Street. Yeah, we love all the bars and we love the dancing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one.